Hello, princes and princesses. It's Melanie. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are here at week 20 post op. I had um, duodenal switch, the traditional duodenal switch surgery on March 30th, 2016. My surgeon was Dr. Rob Williams of New Life Bariatrics, and the surgery was at Tenova Medical Center, Turkey Creek, Knoxville, Tennessee. Let's see, my highest weight was 335 pounds. Weight on day of surgery was 314. Last week I checked in at 259.6. This week is 256 even. So another loss of 3.6 pounds. I lost 3.6 pounds last week and 3.6 pounds this week. So yeah, total weight loss now is 79 pounds. Very happy about that. Um, diet has been exactly the same. Um, high protein, low carb. I try to keep my carbs around 40 grams, between 30 and 40, but usually I end up getting around 40. Um, protein is 145 grams, and I usually hit that. And uh, fat, I don't track, because as a duodenal switch patient, I don't need to. <laughs> Uh, the only thing I've done differently, well, I added, um, is chewable fiber every morning. I found these chewable fiber tablets, I found them at Walmart, and they're like a chewable version of Metamucil or something like that. And they're they're big, they're like twice the size of a regular Rolaids, um, and you just chew them and, and swallow, and that's great. I like those better than the fiber tablets because those you have to drink a lot of water and I can't chug the water I have to sip it and uh, I don't really care for the Benefiber or the Metamucil that you actually put in water because sometimes it, it makes it thick and just not pleasant to drink but these chewable tablets seem to be doing okay um, and I think I needed a little fiber because I've been kind of <clears throat> backed up a little bit so yeah, <laughs> um, the only other thing is um, I've, I've been battling a uh, urinary tract infection. So I've actually kind of upped my carbs a little bit because I've been drinking um, diet cranberry juice to kind of help battle that. I'm taking medicine as well, uh, an antibiotic, but I'm drinking the cranberry juice to kind of help that along. So no fun. <laughs> The only thing I really wanted to talk about today, and, and yes, I know that there was a lot of uh, response to my Gene Pro video, and I actually am going to be doing another one as kind of a follow up to that because I have some more information on Gene Pro, so uh, look for that to come. But the one thing that I wanted to talk about today was just to kind of share some encouragement. Um, I've been I've been seeing. And I've, I've almost kind of fell victim to it myself is um, people will kind of compare themselves to other people and say, well, gosh, I'm not losing weight as fast as he is or as fast as she is. And, and I, they, I've had my surgery longer than they have and they're dropping weight like everything. And, you know, it's just blah, blah, blah and hate, hate, hate. And, you know, it gets to be petty and almost high school, junior high drama. And uh, I just wanted to kind of share some encouragement with you. Um, you know, try to compare yourself to other people because no two people are going to lose the same because no two people's bodies are the same. One of the great things that we've been blessed with is that we're all individuals. We're all different. We're all, um, our makeup is different. Our DNA is different. Um, everything is different about us that we don't we aren't the same and thank God for that imagine how boring it would be if we we're all just exactly carbon copies of each other you know embrace the differences and embrace your own progress you know uh, keep track of it watch yourself changing not just physically but emotionally and and everything changes and, and, and embrace the change and enjoy the, the change enjoy the process um, too many people uh, you know think of it as a trip and they only focus on the uh, the end place the finish line and uh, they miss all the scenery along the way 
and all the things that you have to experience along the way because each little step is a new experience so embrace that and and don't compare yourself to others because it's not comparing apples to apples you know your body's not the same and who knows you know maybe maybe they drop it fast but they have a maybe a little bit tougher time in maintenance and maybe you'll drop it slow and have an easier time in maintenance who knows like i said no two people are the same and don't you know don't feed into the jealousy because the only person that the jealousy hurts is you the only person that has to carry that load is you um you know th there was somebody i forget who said it but there was a quote that went along the lines of of um that uh it doesn't it doesn't do any good to hate people because um the people that that you hate the ones that know about it don't care and the ones that don't know about it it doesn't matter you know the only one that you hurt when you hate is yourself so don't don't undermine your own progress by feeding into hate and jealousy it's not worth it and the last thing is to remember where you came from because consider yourself lucky if you are a weight loss surgery patient, consider yourself lucky because for every one of us, there are several hundreds, if not thousands of other people who would gladly, gladly give anything to be in our shoes. There are people who, for whatever reason, can't have the surgery, whether it's money, whether it's insurance or lack thereof, whether it's support, whether it's something wrong with them physically where they can't have surgery, there's a million different reasons. So for you to be a weight loss surgery patient, you are one of the lucky ones. You're one of the lucky few. It took me 10 years of fighting to get to have surgery. For 10 years, you know, and I worked for big companies and their insurance wouldn't cover it. And I definitely did not have the money and did not have ways to raise the money. And then times when I tried to raise the money, I had no support. And then I had no support at home or very little support at home, even from my husband. So, you know, you gotta remember where you came from and count your blessings every day. And just look at this every day, every time you think about complaining and oh, I'm not losing fast enough, or oh, I'm regaining, or oh, this is too hard, and I don't want to count carbs, and I want to eat whatever I want to. Remember where you came from. Because like I said, there are hundreds, if not thousands of people who would gladly trade places with you and follow the rules. So just remember that. Remember how lucky you are and be grateful for it. Be grateful for the experience. Be grateful for the opportunity, the second chance at life that you've been given because that's what this surgery is. It is a chance to live again. And though you may not be where you want to be overnight and you may still be trying and struggling to get to where you want to be, be thankful that you have the next day to live to push and to try again because there's a whole lot of other people who don't. A whole lot of other people who didn't get the chance and ended up having the fatal heart attacks or the fatal strokes. Remember it. Okay, everybody, I'll get off the soapbox for today. I love all of you. I'm so excited for everybody and I want you guys to just keep on pushing and keep on doing what you got to do and sparkle on.